Hello, many of you have asked us how we made the hair of this character, so we've created this video to show you. Welcome to Apuno Tutorials. To make the hair of this character, we used our Akira 101 head and scalp as a starting point. The two-piece scalp locks into position on the head by magnets and is compatible with both male and female head versions. The materials we used were sculpting tools and a hex key, cling film, polymer clay, aluminium wire, acrylic paints, protective gloves and wire cutters. We used the one-to-one -one scale print of Akira 101 head to design our hair. You can download this free template from our website. We then made clay spikes by making a small ball first and then pushing one end to make the final shape. After that, we inserted a small piece of twisted wire, which will help us later when attaching it to the scalp. We repeated this process to create multiple hair pieces with a slightly different shapes and colors to give it a more natural style. We then cured the clay in the oven so that they keep their shape as we work them into the scalp. You'll need to follow manufacturer's time and temperature values for curing the clay. Here we have lots of hardened spikes. Using the hex key, we loosened the parts of Akira 101 head so that we could protect the face and skull with some clean film. We removed the ears because we used them to keep the film in position. We joined the two skull pieces into one using the clay so that we have a single hair piece. The small tags on the scalp help nicely to keep the fresh clay in position. Once the two pieces were joined together and filled with clay, we started inserting the hardened spikes by the wire following our initial paper design, mixing colors, shapes and sizes. We added some more fresh clay with the sculpting tools to help keeping the spikes in position and also to hide the wires and the white bits of the scalp. We then hardened the clay by curing it in the oven again. However, as this time we're also putting in the oven Akira 101 scalp, we kept the temperature below 90 degrees Celsius to protect the original scalp piece, keeping the clay a bit longer in the oven. Here is the final top piece hardened. The front piece of the scalp is designed to act as a sideburns. Although they can be easily cut, we decided to keep them as it look really nice. We just needed to paint it with the right color marker that matches the hair color. We then moved to the lower back hair area. After marking the hairline with a pencil, we started painting the area with flesh color. After drying, a bit of sanding would give it a smoother look. Then we marked the top piece end on the head base and we started adding bits of clay where extra hair goes, checking with the scalp hair piece to ensure it would still fit. The clay will stick nicely when hardened. We left the screws uncovered so they can be accessed in the future. We could have made the top hair piece longer to cover them but we decided not to on this occasion. We hardened this final piece again, keeping the temperature below 90 degrees Celsius. We covered the screws with fresh clay that we will not cure, so that we can access them every time we need to, but they don't show in camera. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching!